Hi, this is Ann from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a sporty split arch word in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. All right, so I've opened Illustrator, and now we're going to create a new document. So I'll come up here to Create New, and then I'll choose Print and Letter, and then we'll go to Create. So now I'm going to type my word. First, I'll get my text tool, and to do that, I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard, and that'll bring me to this text tool right over here. Now, I'll just click once, and I'll start typing the word dragons. I'm gonna get back on my selection tool, and then I'll just get on a corner here and drag this while holding Shift to make it quite a bit bigger. And now let's change the font. I'll come up here to character, and if you don't see this bar up here, you can go to window, control. And the font I like is college block number two. So I'll choose that one right here. And this is looking very nice. All right, so now we want to warp this. And to do that, we'll come up to effect, warp, and arch. Now there are a lot of different things you can choose here, but for this tutorial, we're going to use arch. And this is a pretty extreme arch, so I'm gonna put this down to uh, 35. Make sure previews checked so you can see what it looks like. And you do have to click into another space to get it to change. And that looks pretty nice, so we'll say okay. All right, let's get our appearance palette up. And to do that, we can go to Window, Appearance. When you first type a word, it's probably going to have a black fill like this. So in our appearance, we can see a few different uh, words here. There's our warp, and if we ever wanna change that, we can just come in here and click and change it to 20 or whatever we wanna do. We have our characters, and if we double click this, we can see that fill right here. Now, we cannot add a stroke and put it below like I want, kind of underneath the, the fill, so to do that, I have to get the fill into type instead of characters. So I'm gonna click on the fill and just delete it with the trash can down here. Now I'll click on type. I'll come up here to the flyout and add new fill. So now you can see it's under type. We have a fill and stroke here, and if you double click characters, we have a fill and stroke here. So we want it in type. That is actually really important. All right, so let's get on our fill and we'll change this to a light pink. And if you don't see your color, all of your palettes are available under window. So you can just go to window, color, and get it there. Okay, and now I wanna add a stroke to this. So I'll get on the stroke in my appearance, and then I'll double click on the stroke over here, not the fill, but the stroke. And then I can add a dark gray stroke to this. Now, if we increase this to about 10, let's put it at 10, and you can see it starts filling in on the top, and that's why I wanted it to be behind the fill. So if we come over here into this empty space beside all of this stuff and drag it below the fill like this, you can move it. If you click in another area, you're going to just be trying to change that instead of actually taking the stroke and moving it. So be careful about that. Our dragons with stroke is looking pretty nice. So let's do a rectangle now so we can get the split going on. So I'm gonna get back on my selection tool. Then I'm going to hit M for my rectangle tool and I'll click and drag. Now this is going to have the same fill and stroke as what I did last. So I'm going to come down here and clear the stroke. Then I'll click on the fill and now I want this to be just kind of a darker pink maybe a little bit darker, and we'll say okay. All right, and now I wanna have this arch match the arch right here. So I'm going to go to Effect, Warp, and Arch, and it should come up as 35, which is what it was before, and that's what we want, so we'll say okay. And now we have to get this dark pink into the light pink of the dragons. So what I'm going to do is I will click on this, with my selection tool, I'll copy, um, I'll click off, and then I'll paste in front with Command F or Control F on a PC. And now we need to expand this. So I'll go to Object, Expand Appearance. 
And now I'm going to zoom in. I'll hit Z on my keyboard and I'll just draw around this. So you can see that we have all the points instead of live text. If we hit Command Y or Control Y on a PC, you can see the live text here and then the um, expanded text here. So there are two copies right on top of each other. I'll hit Command Y to get back to my regular view or Control Y on a PC. I'm gonna Command minus or Control minus to zoom out. And now I'm going to hit my selection tool and select this piece here. And we also need to expand this because it's still seeing it as a, as a warped arch. Okay, so we'll come up here to Object, Expand Appearance, and now we've kind of changed this to a shape instead of a rectangle that was arched, if that makes sense. And I'm going to resize this to about the size of my dragons. Keep it a little bit bigger. Going to move it up about halfway onto the dragon's word, and then I'll just kind of center this with my arrow keys. All right, now the dragon's word is going to be the mask that holds this pink part. So we've got this, and we've got the one behind it. The one on top, the mask, does not need a fill or a stroke. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to click on my fill and change it to none. Then I'll click on my stroke and change it to none. Um, just now, for some reason, none wasn't working. So you can just hit your backslash or question mark key. When you use a mask, the mask part has to be in front. So we want to make sure it's in front by hitting shift command right bracket or shift control right bracket on a PC. We can also go to Object, Arrange, Bring to Front. Okay, so now we have that piece and we can see in our appearance that it's a group. When it's a group, Illustrator sees each of these pieces as separate shapes and we need Illustrator to see them all as one piece. So to do that, we need to make a compound path. So we'll go to Object, Compound Path, Make. You can also hit Command-8 or Control-8 on a PC on your keyboard. So now it doesn't change the appearance of it, but you can see in the appearance here that it is a compound path, which means Illustrator sees it as one shape. Now we can hold shift and select both the word dragons that has no filler stroke and that shape. And then we can create our mask. I know this is probably a little confusing, but basically you need kind of the window area and whatever you're going to put in that window area and select them both. Then we'll come up to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And now that is inside there. If we hit Command Y, you can still see that arched rectangle back there, the full size of it. And if we hit Command Y again, you don't see those edges. All right, let's finish off this design. I'm just going to type the word cheer. So I'll hit T on my keyboard, which is right over here for my text tool. And I'm going to type, whoops, I'm going to get away from the word dragons so I don't accidentally type in there and then type the word cheer. Get back on my selection tool and now I'll change this. I like the font Augusta. So I'll click that and then I'm going to get right on the edge on a corner, click and drag and then hold shift. All right, I'll just bring this right down here. You can use your arrow keys and your shift key to move this around. All right, I'm going to zoom in by hitting Z on my keyboard or coming right over here. And then just drawing a box around what I wanna see a little better. I'll hit V to get my selection tool. And then I'll hit I, which will give me my eyedropper tool. I'm gonna hit shift and select this gray color which gives us the same gray color down here. All right, and then let's add some stars. Um, if we go to our rectangle tool and then hold, and we can come down here to the star tool. And then I'll just click and drag to start making a star. You can hold shift to make it straight up and down, which I don't really wanna do that. But you can hold option to get a different kind of star. You can see it change as I let off of option 
or not. And then we'll make another one right over here. I've got option held to get kind of the skinny star. Okay, so now we have our sporty words and we've got a perfect t-shirt design. All right, I hope you really like this split arch tutorial. If you did and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified each week when a new video comes out. All right, thank you.